dollar, dollar, dollar. Dirt and money, no soul. Had to go and get it, ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partners. Keep my money long, get my team strong. Let me run away from my problems. Yep. It's your boy DJ Nuki, your girl. It's here to call. We back on the channel with another. Get and see originals. Blow my mouth up. I'll be hitting that shit, dog. Turn that bitch up. Okay. <laughs> welcome, welcome back to the channel, man. Hey. Whew. We got a. It ain't scary. Serial killer file. <sighs> You know, so you want me to tell you how I stumbled across this video? Yes, please do. So I was just looking up like some things, and I looked up Bunny and Clyde, right? And I looked up, looked up Bunny and Clyde, and then Fred and Rose popped up. And I said, Fred and Rose, you don't care about them. Hmm. So I said, let me start doing my do do diligence and do 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 do. do. Oh my like, god, damn! There's so much. So we only got an eight minute video here, but it gotta be more. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah. So I'm, we finna learn, find out about who Fred and Rose West is today, man. We got Serial Killer Files sixteen. So with that being said, man, before we get into it, make sure you check out the links in the description box down Travel below. Down. You already know where to go if you want to further support. All you gotta do is check out down below. Mm -hmm. Also, every single time, hold up. Don't your breaks. We salute. To the coming of the day. Mm -hmm. Salute to we you. highly appreciate y'all every single time over Always. here on the platform, <laughs> man. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, lock it in with a thumbs up. Definitely. We'll highly appreciate that, bro. It's Fred and Rose West. I'm just trying to figure out who these folks are and what, what? in connection y'all yeah. got with Bunny and Clyde. That's how y'all were looking at Bunny and Clyde. Okay, come on. <laughs> Enjoy. Love and passion for similar things can be the ties that bind. But what happens when that similar thing is killing? Today we discuss the serial killing husband and wife, Fred and Rose West. Let's open the serial killer file. Frederick Walter West was born in England on September 29, 1941. His parents were two farmers who may have worked hard to provide for their family, but weren't without their vices. Growing up, Fred was exposed to many sexual acts at a young age. Fred's father, Walter, was known to engage in incestuous relationships with Fred's sisters while teaching the children wow. that it was acceptable to commit bestiality in the household. Wow. It was speculated that his own mother began sexually abusing Fred at the age of 12. That's sick. Oh this is the lineage. Off oh rip. Goodness. This is a minute in. It was like, God. Already. Fuck. As a child, Fred lacked interest in school and eventually at the age of 15 dropped out to become a farm laborer. It was not long after when Fred turned 17 that he was involved in a motorcycle accident that caused Fred to sustain a severe head injury which resulted in a coma. The amount of trauma left him with metal plates in his head. This was the beginning to his temperamental attitude. Two years after his first accident, Fred was purposely pushed down a fire escape after attempting to sexually molest a 13-year-old. Wow. These instances of head trauma eventually resulted in Fred falling victim to epileptic seizures. With the worsening of his conditions, Fred's family allowed him to stay back in his hometown. It was here that he reunited with an ex-girlfriend named Catherine Rena Costello. Once reuniting with Catherine, Fred found out that Catherine was a prostitute who had become pregnant from one of her customers. Accepting Catherine's career and her pregnancy, Fred married Catherine just after two months and moved into Coatbridge, Scotland. 
During this time, Fred took up work as an ice cream truck driver. Catherine gave birth to her first daughter, Charmaine, shortly after their move to Scotland on February 22, 1963. It didn't take long before the marriage went sour, however. Fred would constantly demand sex from Catherine, resulting in the birth of their first child together, Anne Marie. In 1964, Fred's life in Scotland came to an official end when he ran over and killed a four-year-old boy with his ice cream truck. Fearing for his safety, Fred This man. That must, like. Honey. This man. And this is and, how just look. And he demanded the sis, I guess, because, you know what I'm saying, growing up in the household. Yeah, it was just everything like a, So it was yeah. like, I'm been, I'm been adapt to this is something I crave because mm -hmm. psychologically, I've been. He was exposed to it at such a young age, so it was kind of like. Moved like, like, his family and their nanny, Issa McNeil, to Bishop's Cleve, Gloucestershire. After moving in 1965, his marriage began to deplete. Catherine was in desperate need to escape Fred's sadistic sexual demands and fled to Scotland in 1966 without the children. She would occasionally return to visit the children every few months, but seemed to stop showing up after a few years. Despite the separation, Fred and Catherine's friend Anne McFall soon became infatuated with Fred and became pregnant with his child in 1967. Anne eventually went missing when she was eight months pregnant. Fred never filed a missing persons report and continued on with his life. Wow. On November 28, 1968, Fred's life would change forever when he met a woman by the name of Rosemary Letts at her job in Gloucester. She was only 15 years old at the time, but that didn't stop Fred. The two eventually moved in together and in 1970 had their first child together, Heather. That same year, Fred was in prison for theft. It was at this time that there were many accusations of Rose murdering Fred's stepdaughter, Charmaine, after she too went missing. According to Anne Marie, each of the what the f what the f so he so he got two bodies because he got the little four year old boy and his and possibly, possibly you know uh, yeah and she and then possibly, possibly you know got, alleged she you know so that's three people who possibly dead and gone from well no they well two for sure two possible two possible one for sure. The boy, the four-year-old boy, got killed. He no, no, no. Him. Two possibles and she one maybe. No, she went missing and the other one missing. They never said. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah. I thought he said. No, he said Maybe I made that up in my head. I would think that. They just said, <laughs> okay. for some missing. Okay. And okay. had their first child together, Heather. That same year, Fred was in prison for theft. It was at this time that there were many accusations of Rose murdering Fred's stepdaughter, Charmaine, after she too went missing. According to Anne Marie, each of the siblings were subject to frequent beatings at the hands of Rose while Fred was serving his time. On January 29, 1972, Fred and Rose married in Gloucester and had their second child named May. Rose was naive when it came to pleasing Fred and eventually turned to prostitution after Fred proposed her to make some extra cash. Fred and Rose eventually had seven additional children together. The family moved to 25 Cromwell Street, a place that would eventually become known as the House of Horrors. Rose continued prostituting herself and with Fred's approval would engage in having sex with her own father. During Rose's prostitution sessions, Fred would often hide in the adjoining room and watch through a hole in the wall. In October 1972, the West hired 17-year-old Catherine Roberts as the children's nanny. She rejected Fred and Rose's engagement into their sex circle and in turn was raped by both husband and wife. Not wow. satisfied, Fred and Rose's sexual abuse escalated to their children. In 1973, the West trapped Fred's first daughter, Anne Marie, in a cellar where he bound and raped her as Rose watched. In 1979, Anne Marie became pregnant by her father but terminated the pregnancy. Oh Not being. This is, this is so weird. sick. This is so sick. I don't understand how the, how the hell they even link with Bunny and Clyde, though. You know what I'm saying? Did it me? say that they were linked, or you were just no? I'm up. saying I was looking up looking up Bunny and Clyde, and then they start. I guess just because it's all in like like because it's the t you know the title. No, not not his didn't pop up. 
Oh. I'm saying other videos start popping up That's about them. Saying. Okay. Okay. What? able to cope with the extensive abuse and eventually left. Things didn't change though, the West took it up a notch and eventually began to sexually abuse their daughter Heather, who eventually disappeared. On August of 1992, police decided to investigate the West, leading to Fred being charged and Rose being an accomplice to the rapes. Rose was later charged with child cruelty, resulting in their final two children being sent to foster care for further evaluation by social workers. It was common to hear the West joke about keeping Heather buried under their patio. This eventually led to police filing a warrant on the property in 1994. Shortly after filing a warrant, police investigated the property and found a burial ground underneath Fred and Rose's garden, something they weren't at all expecting to actually find. Two dismembered and decapitated female corpses were discovered. One was believed to be that of Heather West, according to police. After many hours of interrogation, Fred admitted to the murders. However, he insisted that Rose had absolutely no involvement in any of them. Fred had also admitted to burying nine bodies under the cellar of the house and also confessed to the whereabouts of his former wife, Catherine, his previous lover, Anne McFall, and his stepdaughter, Charmaine. This resulted wow. in Fred West being charged with 12 counts of murder. Fred was taken into custody in Winston Green Prison on December 13, 1994. While awaiting his trial on January 1st, 1995, Fred hanged himself by knotting his bedsheets together in his cell. Rose West later admitted to her participation in the sexual assaults with her violent and dishonest behavior. The jury found Rose West guilty on 10 counts of murder. Rose's sentence was extended to a life sentence without any possibility of parole after the speculation of there being far more than just 12 killings. Woo! The West home at 25 Cromwell Street was eventually demolished in 1996 and is now just a pathway leading to the town center. And it leaves behind the dark remains of a past never to be forgotten. Thank you for watching. This thing. You know the question that I have? Was she already kind of like in the head for her to even be so like, was. you know what I'm saying? Cause to flow with him? You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. you know, just because he like that. Like, say, I for mean, instance, I didn't know he was like, say, for instance, that was me and I didn't know he was like that. And yeah. we got together. And I'm like, oh, no. You know. But he would have killed her, too. He would have. And all the why he didn't kill her because she but, was in on it. She but was still, cool with it too. The, the, like just me personally, like you just gonna have to do what you gotta do because I'm not I, doing I it. You. you know what I'm saying? I feel you, man. No, I ain't know they were like sick. sick that man. is so. For one, but for him, it started the, so early. The, the molestation thing started from his parents. From his so, parents, to be honest, they states molesting oh them, gosh. and it was the fact that he thought it was okay because it happened to me. Because that's what you and his parents told. It's okay, you know what we're doing is it was okay. Something that, so what happened? I wonder what happened to all his siblings and stuff. Like true. That's a rabbit hole you can go down, bro. That's, that's true. a what rabbit hole you can him? really go down. That's and crazy. I'm. Like, then he got convicted for 12. We was counting three or four. And they said 12 bodies. Because everybody that was speculated to just come up, you know, went missing. They he killed. actually, yeah. Damn, bro. Like, dude. Dude, That's weird, crazy. man. Hey, with that being said, man, y'all spam us up in the comment section down below. Mm -hmm. Let us know y'all thoughts and opinions about these weird people in the comment section Sick. down below. Sick. <laughs> uh, whatever it's words you want. Yeah. You whatever. Know, you can use them. So, with that being said, as always, y'all know how it go, man. Mm -hmm. I do go by the name DJ Nikki. This is Sierra. No, 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 no,